Uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to Nemtech channel. My name is Nehemiah and uh, guys, I'm very very much happy to have you on board. Now, today we are going to talk about uh, Python uh, regular expressions. Uh, but before we start, I want to make uh, this simple request. Uh, if it's your first time to get into this channel, please take a second or two. Uh, click the subscribe button, the like and also share this video to your friends. And to the returning subscribers, I say thank you very very much. Uh, now to the uh, topic of the day, I said it is Python uh, regular expression, sometimes abbreviated, uh, abbreviated as uh, REGEX, regular expression. So let's understand this uh, regular expression. Now, uh, this uh, regular expression is a sequence of characters that forms a such pattern. Now, this uh, regular expression can also be used to check if a string contains uh, the specified uh, such pattern. And uh, basically, guys, uh, as usual, we must do an example for everybody to be to understand. But then uh, you need to understand that uh, Python has a built-in package called Array, uh, which uh, can be used to work with the uh, regular expression. Remember, we talked about these uh, Python modules. But then uh, this one of the uh, modules, and uh, you remember how to import. Remember, it's a built-in, uh, you know, package built-in a uh, module. Now, to import it, we use this uh, import keyword. Uh, import keyword and then now uh, you must include now this uh, name add e for regular expression and then now uh, after you imported this a uh, uh, regular expression and then uh, let's talk about these a uh, uh, regular expressions in python now when you have a uh, when you have imported this a uh, regular expression module the re module uh, you can start using the this a uh, regular expression now uh guys uh, let me write here an example uh, basically to cite the string to see if I start with a perhaps let me say um, Let me say uh, let me write this first of all. Let me use a text txt for text txt Actually the variable name then uh, let me assign it to this string perhaps let me say a uh, uh, Name take let me say name take remember this is my brand. Let me say name take uh, is awesome Is awesome and then now uh, it's let me say it's uh, one of, of the top top most of uh, programming or uh, let me say take take learning a uh, learning channel now uh, i want us to uh, to search in this uh, text in this string to see if um uh, it will begin with name take and uh, ends uh, with um, uh, with this channel. Now to do that, guys, uh, we are using this uh, uh, re actually this re uh, module. Now let me uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so let me say this one. Let me uh, create this uh, variable x and then uh, let me assign it to this uh, module. This uh, you know this a uh, uh, module. Then uh, let me say re uh, dot search the search and then uh, let me say um first of all the thing so let me include you must uh tag it into these uh, quotation marks and then uh, let me say it begins with the uh, with name text so you must include this uh and this is something i don't know the name and let me say just on your keyboard just uh on the same uh, pad with six uh, letter six i don't know this name the name of this uh, stuff but then I just include it, then uh, let me say name tag. Name tag. So it will check if uh, this uh, string contains this name tag. And then uh, also, uh, the what? Uh, let me also include this, uh, uh, the end, the end tag, the end award. So you must in you include this stuff. And then also, let me say, uh, channel. Channel is a small, uh, let me say channel. And then uh, to show that it ends with channel, you include this uh, dollar symbol on your keyboard, the dollar symbol. And then also uh, you close, it, you ensure you close with this, uh, uh, you end with this uh, txt, this variable name txt, uh, txt. Now uh, to run it, guys, you you must first of all include this uh, print function to execute these codes uh, in the terminal. Now uh, let's try it. Uh, let me first of all include these two conditions, the if condition. So let me say if uh, x, then you close with the colon, and then uh, let me say uh, print. Uh, 
basically if it contains a name tag and uh, begins with name tag and uh, ends with the channel then let me say print uh, print uh, this thing let me say uh, let me say yes uh, perhaps yes yes uh, yes uh, it's awesome uh, it's awesome and then uh, if not uh, then now uh, we, are, we are going to include this uh, else statement so let me say else uh, else uh, else uh, say what um, let me say print uh, print what uh, print uh, let me say it doesn't it doesn't uh, contain it, it 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 doesn't it doesn't let me just say it doesn't then I'll, let me click on the shift plus F10 to run it that's the shortcut to run shift plus uh, F10 that's the shortcut to run uh, these uh, codes in the terminal now uh, you can see that uh, it prints it doesn't perhaps there's an error somewhere so perhaps let me try to remove this uh, and this space here uh, let me remove this uh, white space then I click on shift plus F10 uh, then you can see guys uh, that uh, yes it is uh, yes it's awesome so basically this text uh, this string is name tag is awesome it's on the it's one of the top most uh, tech learning channel then uh, guys I say that uh, if uh, name tag begins and the channel ends then it's gonna print uh, yes it's awesome and if not it's going to print doesn't now you can see that uh, because it's available there then you can see that uh, let me first of all zoom in you can see that uh, yes it's awesome because it's available and then uh, perhaps when i try to create a white space here and click on the shift plus f10 you can see guys it says that uh, it doesn't now let's talk about this uh, regular expression function now the remodule offers a set of function that allows you uh, allows you to uh, to search a string of the uh, for a match like uh, the one that i've just shown you but then uh, there, are, there are others that uh, we are going to discuss in a few we have also the find all function uh, which returns a list containing all matches we have the search uh, returns a math uh, object if there is a match uh, anywhere in the string also we have the split uh, returns a list where the string has been a split at each match also we have the sub uh, replaces uh, one or many matches with the, uh, with the string and then also guys uh, there's a uh, meta characters the ones that uh, you know i've just shown you like uh, these are dollar symbol and so forth so basically let's uh, talk about these uh, stuff in a few so we have um uh, basically let me just show you show you the one that i've just uh, you know used here like this uh dollar symbol this one stand for uh, ends with and that's why you saw that uh, uh, channel it ends with channel now I included this uh, you know dollar symbol to show that it ends with a uh, channel and then um, perhaps the star these are steric here the star uh, this one uh, stand for zero or more I uh, you know occurrence and uh, basically perhaps some some of them we are going to discuss as we go on but then uh, let me talk about uh, some special uh, sequences now uh, a special sequence is like a, a forward, you know, a forward followed by one of the characters in the list, uh, like uh, the one that I'm going to show you uh, very, very uh, briefly. You know, has a special um, meaning. Like uh, if you have, um, let me just write here in this uh, other line of code. Like if you have uh, uh, this forward slash, the forward slash what is it? Uh, basically backslash, not forward slash, uh, backslash. And then uh, basically, uh, perhaps if you say a, uh, and then uh, guys, uh, this uh, describe uh, basically this uh, returns a match of a uh, match if the specified characters, you know, are at the beginning of the uh, string. And then if it's small b, a small b, then uh, returns a match where the uh, specified characters begin or at the end of the uh, word. So basically, guys, a set is a set of characters inside a pair of uh, square brackets uh, with a special meaning. Um, so, guys, uh, uh, without much ado, let me begin straight away. Like, uh, let's begin. First of all, we talked about the uh, find out function. So, let me first of all clear everything here so that I may show you the example. At uh, the find all function, basically, it returns a list containing all the matches. Now. Uh, let me first of all import a module. Uh, this is a module with the import keyword. Let me say import 
uh, import then a uh, RE for regular expression. And then uh, let me say what in this uh, uh, other line of code, let me say now uh, TXT for the text, basically TXT. And then a uh, first thing now, and then uh, let me assign it to this uh, string. And uh, basically, let me say um, what uh, did I use the other time? Let me say uh, it was name tag. Name tag is awesome. Is awesome. Uh, it's it's one of uh, the top tech learning platform. Tech learning uh, platform. Uh, one of the tech uh, learning platform. Yeah, these were the texts previously. Now, guys, I want us to use the uh, find all uh, function. Remember, I told you that uh, uh, this one uh, returns a list of containing all the matches. And then uh, basically, it's going to print a list of all the uh, matches. And uh, before that, guys, uh, let me uh, have this. Uh, uh, let me have this uh, function here. Now, the, this are uh, print function. And there's a print before that. Let me create the variable, uh, for example, x, and then uh, let me assign it to R A regular expression. And then um, let me say find all find all function method. And then uh, let me say what. Um, let me say and basically the thing. So let me say A I. Uh, then a uh, comma. And these are txt txt now the print function remember is the code to run this to execute the codes in the terminal a print print function let me say print uh, x then uh and then i guess you can see that uh, it prints uh you know an empty uh, an empty you know uh, an empty list so basically uh, if the list contain the match i uh, you know the matches in the order they are found I, you know they are found but then if not the matches are found these um it will print out these are empty lists now let's talk about uh, basically uh, another thing like uh, the search function now uh, if there's more than uh, one match uh, the first occurrence of the match will be returned like uh, let me just write here uh, in this text editor basically guys we are using PyCharm remember this is our integrated development environment for Python. But then uh, let me just write here an example. First of all, import this module, and then a regular expression RE, and then uh, also let me say TXT, a uh, TXT for string, and then uh, let me send it to this uh, string, uh, this string. Then uh, let me say what, mm, like what? Uh, let me say uh, maybe let me say. Um, uh, the let me say the the rain or uh, let me say the, uh, the let me say the sun the sun in Kenya or uh, the sun uh, the rain let me use a uh, rain let me say the rain in Nairobi the rain in Nairobi and then uh, let me now create this variable now the x and then uh, let me assign it to to this uh, this uh you know a regular expression here method re dot uh search uh sorry re dot search and then uh, let me include now this uh remember we talked about these stuff here uh, so let me say uh let me sorry uh, let me say now we begin with this forward slash uh backslash basically backslash backslash uh the backslash and then uh let me say s also uh, in this string txt this variable txt now to print it you will use the print function let me say uh, print uh, let me say print uh, basically let me say um let me say uh, the first uh, the first uh, white the first white um Character, mm, character uh, is located as uh, located in position, 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 
my position then uh, let me close let me close then uh, let me say uh, x um let me say uh, x x uh, dot start which means at the start start at the start now uh, let me click on shift plus a 10 to run these codes uh, at the terminal uh, shift plus a 10 and to run the codes at the terminal shift plus uh, a 10 and then I guess you can see that we have these uh, kind of stuffs here. And right, you can find this uh, course on my website. But then, uh, just for the sake of tutorial, let me talk about the split function. Now, the split function returns a list where the stringers have been splitting uh, at each match. Let me show you again this one. Let me just show you again this one. First of all, let me clear everything. Okay, so let me create, first of all, this. Uh, let me import this module. It was a regular expression module r e regular expression and then uh, here in this uh, next line of code let me say txt for this uh, string then uh, let me assign it to this uh, i say that uh, uh the ring let me say the ring the ring in the ring in nairobi the ring was the ring um in nairobi nairobi at uh, the ring in nairobi and then now in this uh, second variable let me say um, let me assign it to this regular method so re dot uh, split uh, dot split and then uh, let me say uh, backslash first of all and then uh, s in this uh, string uh, txt txt now to the print print function let me say print uh, print what print uh, this variable x now shift plus 10 to run the course at the terminal <coughs> uh, so guys uh, basically guys you can see that uh, here at the terminal uh, we have splitted this uh, you know white space character and then i uh, guess you can see that um, uh, each character it is uh, independent here now basically uh, you can also control uh, the number of occurrence by uh, specifying the max uh, split parameter basically to split the string uh, only at the first occurrence so first of all let me import this module the regular expression module r e module and then in this second line let me say uh, txt and then it was uh, the last example it was uh, 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 let me say it was the rain in Nairobi Nairobi is in Kenya for those who are my international followers Nairobi is in Kenya now let me say and uh, this uh, second third line of code let me now create this variable then I'm assign it to re dot uh, split re dot split and then uh, let me say um let me say s uh, s comma uh, txt txt uh, comma uh, txt sorry txt comma uh, in the first a parameter there now let me say print a uh, print what print uh print x and then i uh, basically guess you're you going to see that it's gonna print at uh, the string you know only at the first occurrence let me click on shift plus uh shift plus f10 and then i guess the terminal can see that we have uh these are kind of string i think that it will print the a single only and the first occurring uh, so guys uh, let's talk about the sub function and uh, the work of the sub uh, sub function replaces the uh, matches with the text of your uh, choice so basically guys i want us to have yet uh, you know uh, an example basically to replace uh, every white space uh, with a character perhaps let me use two so first of all let's import the module remember you must import the module uh, import uh, the module and then uh, re remember this the uh, module name and then uh, let me say now txt uh, and then uh, let me assign it to uh, the ring let me say it's a string so let me perhaps say, say the uh, the ring in Nairobi 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 and then uh, here let me now use this uh, sub function uh, x first of all then uh, let me assign it to uh, regular expression dot um, sub a uh, sub basically sub and then uh, uh sorry 
that sub and then uh, here let me say what let me have this uh uh backslash first of all and then a uh, s and then uh, now i want us to use letter two or a three basically it's a string so let me say a three uh inside this a uh, text um txt it is a uh, txt a uh, txt now at the print function let me click on uh first of all i create this print function print I print what print this x variable then i click on shift plus 10 and then i guess you can see that it does replaces all the white space with these are uh, you know uh, these are three later this number three here so basically guys uh, this is how you can work uh, on with these are uh, uh, these are uh, a uh, sub function or basically you can also control the number of uh, replacements by specifying the count a uh, parameter like um uh, you can also uh, basically if you are, I want us to replace in this uh basically in this uh, second uh in the second uh word space I can include here uh, the number here like a comma then uh, let me say uh, perhaps two then I click on mm, before that this is txt and then uh, let me say click shift on shift plus 10 and then I guess you can see that it does uh, have these two uh uh you know it, it has replaced these are uh, to our uh, white spaces so basically guys that is how you can work on with these uh, stuff so uh, there are many items to cover but um for the sake of time let me just talk about the match uh, object uh, so guys uh, let me talk about the match uh, object so basically a match object is an object containing information about the search and the results not uh, if uh, there's no match the value none will be returned instead of the match so basically guys uh, as usual let me just show you these examples we close uh we went down so let me say import first of all this module import uh, the module regular expression and then uh, let me say in this line of code uh basically txt first of all uh, let me say txt for this string and then uh, let me say it was uh the ring of the ring uh, in Nairobi, the rain in Nairobi, and then uh, now uh, let me now say x uh, equals to. Uh, basically, remember this equal operator does not equate this x to uh, basically this variable, but then it does uh, you know assign this x variable to this uh, you know this uh, value here, like uh, r e dot search search search. And then uh, here, let me say, um, perhaps AI, uh, AI in this uh, TXT, TXT. Now let me say print, uh, let me say print, uh, print what, print uh, X. So basically it's gonna, this will uh, print, you know, an object. And this uh, result, the result will be an object. So let me click on shift plus the 10 guys. I saw guys you realize that in this example it uh, returns you know a uh, uh, match uh, object. So basically a math object has uh, properties and uh, methods used to retrieve information about the search and the, the results. Now we have a uh, dot span uh, returns a tuple containing the start and uh, the end of the uh, match. Also we have a uh, dot string returns the string passed into the function and also we have a uh, dot group which returns the uh, the part of the string where uh, there was a match. Uh, so guys, uh, let me just change here some wordings like uh, let me say R and then uh, let me say uh, basically it's a string so let me say first of all the backslash and then uh, let me say B uh, in this uh, Nairobi it is uh, N for Nairobi and then a uh, forward slash a uh, forward slash and then uh, sorry the, uh, backslash basically guys and then a uh, W uh, then a plus operator and then uh, here let me say a uh, comma and then uh, in this uh, t uh, x t t uh, x t now in this uh, print function i'm gonna target the string basically only the string like uh, the string so let me click on shift plus uh f10 and then i guess you can see that uh, this is the uh the result so basically the it print it print the uh, the string pass into this uh, function and uh, basically this is what I wanted to show you in this video and uh, if you find that uh, the video has been of help, 
uh, please subscribe like and share this video to your friends until next time this is Tinehemaya